First download the global version of your phone from doublequotesmefirm.net. Go to mefirm.net. Search your phone model name and product name. Product name Global version You can download these latest global version of your phone. I download these version. I already downloaded these global firmware. Extract the firmware TGS file. Paste this file into the Windows C partition, and then rename this file. If file name extensions do not appear, do the same. Check the phone version. This phone is China stable version. Click 7 times on MIUI version to open developer option. Turn on the OEM unlocking button and USB debugging. First, NV data from the phone will be backed up using MTK Lock Remover TTA tool. Click on NV Backup. First, connect phone and computer. Press and hold power key and volume down and up. If the phone is power off, release power key. Don't forget to back up the NV data before changing the global version. If there is a network error, after changing the global version, restore it again.
Finished NV Data Backup Disconnect the USB cable, then power on the phone. If you can't turn on the power, remove the battery and put it back and turn on the power. In this step, we will check if this phone is bootloader unlocked. This device is locked, not bootloader unlocked. Okay, let's go to next step. Connect phone and computer. Click on Unlock Bootloader. Press and hold power key and volume down and up. If the phone is power off, release power key. Ok, do it again, press and hold power key and volume down and up. If the phone is power off, release power key. Let's check if this phone is bootloader unlocked. Okay, this device is bootloader unlocked. Ok, let's check it again with fastboot command. Ok, this device is bootloader unlocked. Ok, this phone is bootloader unlocked. Global version firmware can be installed from fastboot mode.
Go into the Windows C partition where the global firmware is located. Put the phone into fast boot mode. And then connect with computer. Double click on flash all, bat. Please wait until the firmware flashing is finished. Firmware writing is complete, but this phone is DM Verity Corruption Error. Put the phone back into fast boot mode, then connect to the computer. Open MTK Lock Remover TTA tool again. Click on DM Fail Fix. OK, DM Verity Error Fix is complete. OK, this phone has now changed to global stable version. If you haven't liked and subscribed to the ITNet channel, please do like and subscribe.